my tech and I flew to Japan to do a tour with Dokken sometime in the mid 80s and we went to the main ESP shop in Tokyo and we were discussing what elements I would want included in the guitar if we were to do a signature guitar starting with the fact that it would be a slightly thicker solid maple body at that time I was of the opinion that a heavy guitar would sound better at least more focused and to complement that we went with a thick ebony fingerboard which also I believe increases focus and my thinking was that you know the guitar lives in the mid-range everything else in the peripheral it doesn't really matter and uh, we just want to compound the mid-range so everything was you know heavy guitar focus it'll uh, poke through the track poke through on stage you know in the mix and so forth uh, reverse banana headstock just really utilitarian stripped down as far as the electronics not a lot of contouring on the edges so we kept them nice and sharp and a lot of access in here so that you can reach up to the higher frets it uh, originally had a one and three quarter inch 45 millimeter neck width. I really liked it to be sort of like my classical guitars that I enjoy playing. And I like the spacing between the strings and I like the strings to sort of be almost hanging off the perimeter of the neck. Because sometimes I do sort of a vibrato where I vibrato the strings off the neck itself. So. variations on the graphic theme as far as the colors. We did a blue one, uh, there's a desert version of this. It ended up being a, a pretty iconic guitar actually. What became the 80s, iconic 80s guitars, I think this was part of that movement. It's a really great amalgamation of function meets form. The function being the primary design feature of the and it looks awesome. Mm -hmm. 